Hello, how are you today? This is Joanne Hewins with love to createtypepadcom and um, I'm happy to be here with you today. Let's, looks like I'm on and everything's okay. Let me just wait a minute and see if anybody joins me. I was supposed to do this on when was I doing it? Wednesday. And I had to cancel the last minute. I had some workers that decided to come. So we'll just wait a moment. Hi, Faith. How are you? Good to see you here. Today we're going to be... Um, doing some things with this uh, catalog, the August-December 2020 Manny Catalog. Um, and um, a lot of times it's, it's hard to come up with ideas. You want to make a card um, and it's, you just have to kind of think around and sometimes you're just a little bit stumped on what to do. Now, there's always Pinterest, and that is one of the best resources I think we have as far as coming up with ideas. Uh, uh, and uh, many times you might see something on Pinterest that you want to make, but you don't have all of the supplies to do that. Uh, and you have to, to make a few changes. So that's what I'm going to kind of talk about today. And I think I'll just go on because people can go back and, and look later. And, and since I'm not on at my usual time, it just might be that this is it. So, Faith, I appreciate you being there. Um, back in the book, back in the back of the book, uh, it does something that I think is pretty neat. It goes over all of the bundles that are in this catalog that's just a review, and what I really like about it is the fact that uh, that it has different uh, samples for the cards that you can um, see, as well as the samples that were earlier in the catalog. Um, so I wanted to show this one, the Dove of Hope. This is a card that... I uh, worked on with my team earlier. We uh, had some things that we made together. And this card, I used this to help me, but I had to change a few things about it. Um, I uh, didn't want to use a whole big sheet of this wood-looking paper from uh, Poinsettia Place because, frankly, I wasn't going to have enough of it if I did. So what I did was make this into kind of a fun fold. I cut off a section, and then I used that poinsettia place just here on the end of the card, or a little bit on the inside, I suppose. And then used the tis the season for the rest of the front of the card. And a lot of the most, most of the rest of it, I guess I left about the same. The saying um, I used... Well, right this moment, I cannot think of the name of those dyes. So, I may be tasteful labels. Maybe it's from that. Um, but I did uh, use the saying that's with the Dove of Hope stamp set. And then on the inside, another uh, rest of the saying from the Dove of Hope. So this is one that we did. Uh, a lot like the one here in the catalog, but not the same. Uh, I'm not sure what they used right here is a die for the little brown pieces, but I used the sprig punch. So I thought that was maybe a little bit easier when I was preparing quite a few of those. So that's what we're going to do today is just talk about uh, making using the catalog to help us make a card that's almost the same or maybe really, really different. The first one that we're going to do is going to be really, really different. 
And I'm going to turn to page 49 in here. And we are going to look for a moment at this card. Um, I really love these dies and this set. I like the layout of this card, and so I thought I would use it to make a card, but this card is going to be actually completely different. So let me show you, go ahead and show you the card that we're going to make. This one has the same layout, but different products. So I use the Snowflake Splendor for the background of this card. Uh, I still stamped on the front. Uh, this time I was using a saying from the banner year. We use Christmas wishes. And then instead of cutting out a leaf, I used the Celebration Labels die. So let's, we're going to make this one together. Let me put this out of the way. And I'll bring in our supplies. And of course, I'm going to put this up on Saturday. And I will have all of the measurements on there. But we're starting off with thick whisper white paper. And this is cut at four and a fourth by 11. I did score it at five and a half. For the thick paper, you really do need to score it. It makes it have a nicer fold. And then I have a piece of a Snowflake Splendor Designer Series paper. Um, and this is cut to five and a half by four and a fourth so that it will fit completely over the card. So I'm just going to glue that down. Now I will tell you that I often tend to cut the paper just a smidgen bigger than it needs to be when I'm covering the whole mm -hmm. side of a card. And uh, I do that because you don't want any of the white to show up. Uh, now, of course, if you end up with too much paper, you can just turn it over and trim it, but I really don't have very much extra on there. And if you ever do end up with a little bit of the white showing, just take it to your trimmer and trim that little extra off so that it covers completely and you don't see any of the white shining through. So I'm gonna set this aside for a moment and we're going to go over here to our Highland Heather piece. Let's see, I cut that at three and a half by four and three fourths. And I'm going to bring in the Stamparatus to help me to stamp this part. Uh, I saw the video was interrupted, but it looks like I'm going again. So hopefully it will be all right. And I'm just going to take this stamp set and set it under there so I've got something for that to rest on. And um, I am using the Highland Heather um, ink pad. So um, I, am, I have put the words so that they're kind of in the middle of the page, and I tried to make sure that they were straight on here. So as long as I keep my paper straight, the words should be straight. So what I'm going to do is just move this paper around, uh, and I'm just going to kind of position it where I think I want it to be, and then we'll ink it. And then I'll just move it around uh, just so that it's at different places on the paper. So this may take a little while. I'm going to move it. That ought to work. But I'm just trying to get it uh, just so it's not in a row, one below the other. 
and I am trying to use the grid lines on this to help me to get it straight. Trying to keep my magnets so they're not going to jump at each other, but I can just about guarantee you it'll happen before I'm done. While I'm doing this, I'll go ahead and tell you that I did pick a winner for last week's cards from the comments that I had on the, the video. And the winner this time is Sandy Herman. Sandy's one of my team members. So. I have that addressed and ready to mail. Okay, I think I'm gonna do one more right over in here. And I think that'll have that done. Okay. So, uh, I just realized that I did not get my cleaner. I just can't seem to remember to get it all. I'll just set that out of the way for now. And then I'm going to be using the... Uh, thank you, Faith. Uh... It's just kind of an easy way to stamp that and uh, get it straight, and I can stamp it again if I need to. So we're using the Celebration Labels. I'm going to use the smallest one, and I'm going to go over and cut this on my uh, Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. And I'm not going to bring it over and do it on camera. I'm just going to come over here real quick and do it. Uh, you can be looking. These are the stamp sets that we're using. And I'll be right back. Okay, here I am. And I'm just going to pull this out. I'm going to keep this because I'm going to put it, well, I'll just go ahead and do it now so I don't lose it. Uh, I'm going to put it on the inside of the card. I'm just going to put it down here in the corner. Okay, so we have our piece here that we made. And I'm going to add that with dimensionals. So I'm going to kind of put some here in the corner. Um, it's hard to know when you're doing something like this how many to, to put on there, isn't it? Faith, it's not, my craft area is not finished. I did get my countertop down, um, but I'm going to get some tile work done. And to tell you the truth, I haven't even picked it all out. Uh, I went and got some and brought it home and looked and I don't like it. So uh, sometime I'll show it to you. Uh, but what I like about it is that most everything now is is in a drawer and out of sight. I don't uh, like a super amount of clutter. And uh, <laughs> although you can't tell it by looking at my work area most of the time, but at least when I look up, I see something that looks kind of uh, kind of nice. So uh, I will show it to you. Just just about the tile work is about all that I had and I've spent more than I should have I'm just deciding that maybe I'm worth it 
Uh, I've been saving a really long time, and most of it I've paid for out of my uh, stamping savings. Uh, but shamefully, not all of it. And my husband is so nice and kind. He said to uh, get what I wanted, so I am. Yeah, organization is a challenge. I've already changed some of the things in the drawers around a little bit, trying to find something that's going to be the most advantageous. So I'm going to pull in, uh, this was that ribbon from the Snowflake Splendor Suite. Uh, Snowflake Splendor Ribbon is what they call it. I'm finding that this ribbon, though, is a little bit stiff. It's really pretty. It's got a lot of shimmer to it. It's a little bit stiff. I don't think you could really make a bow out of that and it would look super great. Uh, this is from the um, Snowflake Wishes stamp set and I'm just going to stamp that. This is a one inch piece of uh, Whisper White and um, one inch wide and about four and a fourth long. Do I like that? I'm going to turn it over. And I can pick which side I like best. Yeah, they're both about the same, I think. I'm going to pull in this uh, pick a banner punch and punch my ends. I want that one. And it's always good to kind of turn it to the back and make sure that it looks even. And I usually punch that and the pieces go right in my face. So I did pretty good about deflecting at that time. Okay. And then we'll just add this banner with some glue. Gosh. Yeah, they're about the same. And then we'll just add this banner along here. And that's all that I was going to do on this. Now you might could get, now that I think about it, and they're in the other room, some of those little shimmery snowflakes that have the adhesive back would look really pretty around on this card as well. So this card was made using this layout, although it... Uh, looks very very different so let me move a few things out of the way and we'll get to the next card that we're going to do maybe if I don't get quite as piled up I won't lose everything and this card I thought turned out really well and I'm going to be looking at page 14 for that. And we are looking at this card right here. And what I liked about this is that paper, let's see what it's called, Plush Poinsettia Specialty Paper with this background. So we're going to use those papers um, and it's from, uh, this background is from the Poinsettia Place, uh, designer series paper. And then this plush Poinsettia paper is actually on that same page. And, uh, it's three different designs. We're going to be using this design today. And then it has this, uh, leaf, holly leaf and some berries, and then it has the poinsettia. 
And uh, some of this poinsettia, I think, can be cut with the dyes, but I haven't tried that yet. In fact, I haven't used this paper at all until uh, I was working on getting this one together. So let me get that out of the way. And uh, so and I'll move that out of the way. And I'll show you, we're going to be using for this card the Dove of Hope set. Okay, I used it on that very first one I showed you, uh, but we'll use it on this one as well. And let me get my, my pieces set out for that. We'll also be using the detailed Dove dies. And, okay, I think I've got it or I can reach what I need to reach. So again, we're going to be using the Thick Whisper White. It's four and a fourth by um, 11. I have it scored and I'm going to just fold that again. I'll use my bone folder. That is pretty paper faith. Um, I, I really like it and I'm a green person so uh, that's another thing I like. So I cut this one again to fit the whole card. I'm just kind of on a kick to do that lately. I don't know why. It's not really the best use of your paper. Uh, it's not as bad if you're using the 6x6, six six, but if you're using the 12x12 12 12 and you cut it to fit the whole card, you're not going to be able to get as many cards out of that paper. So that's just a warning. Okay, now you can see that I've got just a slither of that white showing there. And I took the cutter that I would need. Actually, there's a little slither of white there. So I really need to take my cutter and just do a little slither here and a little slither here off of each side. And I'll do that when I finish. But... Um, just telling you that's what I would do so that it wouldn't show. I just don't have the cutter I need. Now, this paper, when I cut it, I cut it using the design. So, uh, it may not ever be noticed by anyone, but I just think that it looks better if you try to center those designs. So, what I did is I tried to get it about the same here and here and the same on the sides and then we have these four kind of in the center of the paper and I don't know why I just think that looks better hey Tina how are you I'm so glad you were able to join me now we are like I said using the detailed dove and I have already cut out the dove and a wing so uh, just to save a little bit of time. And I'm going to um, use my dauber and put just a little bit of a soft suede on there. And uh, actually, I think I have enough ink on my dauber that I'm not even going to, to ink it up. But I wanted to put just a little bit of color on my dove, just like on that card that I showed you before we really got started. It has a little bit of color, and I don't know, I just kind of like that. So I'm going to add a little bit of the brown, or the soft suede, to my bird's wing, and down in here on the tail. I want to be careful not to make it come apart. And I just want a little bit, so that's why I didn't really even ink it up on there. And I'm going to make all of this on my, uh, what did we call that again? The plush poinsettia specialty paper. Now I've already cut out of uh, Old Olive this piece right here as well. And I'm going to add that to the card 
and I'm just going to use a little bit of glue. I'm going to try to be super light with it. Now I have my hands all sticky. Oops. And I'm not trying to cover every little bit and piece. That's probably not quite as light on the glue as I meant to be. And I'm just going to add that across there. And then I'm going to add my bird with dimensionals. He's going to be about like that. And then I'm going to glue the, the wing on. That's a little bit more than I meant to get on there. So we'll glue that like that. And once that glues, I'll use my rubber eraser and get some of that off of there. Okay. So now... I'm able to add this, this piece to my card by putting some of the glue behind these other elements. And I don't think it'll be seen as much. And I want to try to get that in the middle the best that I can. Okay, and then uh, we're going to add a saying to this from the Dove of Hope, Peace, Joy, and Love. Now, for some reason, when I got all of this ready, I thought I was going to be able to get that on that piece of paper right in the middle and straight. What do you think? Because when I did the sample... I didn't. I cut it down later. But we'll see. Hey, I'm going with it. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Okay, and then we're going to add this with dimensionals also. And then we'll add our saying under here. And so this is the front of the card. So then on the inside, I'll just uh, do this saying from the Dove of Hope. And I'm afraid, uh, maybe I didn't get it back there too much. And then I'll add this stuff. Okay, and then you may want to take some markers and color in uh, the little berry and the leaves. Uh, I don't have those with me right this minute. So this card is one that once again we used page 14 in this catalog to give us the idea to use this, these two papers together. And uh, so, again, I used the catalog to help me come up with an idea of what I could do. So there's that card. And I have one more that we're going to make. I think maybe we'll have time. Let me move some stuff out of the way. And you know what? I let, I 
pull this something out on this cord. I'm going to bring it back in. Uh, I had taken my basic black, the dark basic black blend, and colored in. These are the old uh, pearls. Uh, I was just trying to use them up. And I am going to put that right here. Except I lost it. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm going to put it right there for the eye of my duck. Oh, that does look a lot better, doesn't it? Okay. So that one is done. Okay, the next card that we are going to make uses the In the Pines uh, stamp set. And... Um, let me find you my inspiration for this card. It is on page 43 in the catalog. And I, I just loved this card as soon as I saw it. So uh, we're going to try to make this card. Uh, but I don't have everything. I don't have those acorns. I don't have the ring. Uh, I don't have that ribbon back there. So I'll show you how I made the card and did a little bit of substitution for it. Okay? So, um, hold on again just for a moment. I have everything in a, in a uh, box here. And I think what's on the bottom. So we're using In the Pines. I'll be using um, Mossy Meadow and uh, Old Olive. And we will be using the Pine Woods dies for this. And um, here. Okay. Of course I had the material for the card right on the very bottom of that box. Get that out of the way. All right, so I have a piece of soft suede, and this is the uh, five and a half by eight and a half uh, scored at four and a fourth, and we'll just fold that and use the bone folder, and then I'm going to be using this wood piece from the poinsettia place. I'm also going to be using this piece from Poinsettia Place a little bit later. But I'm going to use the same idea that I used earlier in stamping the words. So let me take that plate off. And I'm going to put on this plate uh, that has the thinking of you. And that is right here from In the Pines. And we'll be using um, soft suede to do our words on that. So what I'm going to do is, seems like it sticks more when it's the photopolymer, but uh, I'm going to move my paper around again to get my words on there where I want it. So I'm just going to move this around. I've got the words on straight so as long as I keep my paper straight on the grid it should be straight on there. And so we'll just be doing this down a good deal of the paper. And I'm just going to move this over on the same plane this time and get it over.
So I'm working my paper up each time a little bit. And this takes a little bit of time, but I kind of think it's fun. So, let's see if that'll work. And this time we're just going to kind of do it all the way down toward the bottom. That probably isn't straight on the plane as this other one because I moved it around. That's okay. I think I'll do one more. Right in there. Okay. So I'm going to that out of the way. And I'm going to glue this. To the front of my card. And this will be our last card that we're going to do today. Try to center that. I still like to get my fingers at the corners and kind of hover a little and I do like the fact that the glue allows me to move things around a little bit. Okay, so this um, ribbon is from the Forever Greenery Ribbon Pack. It comes with this and I believe that this is the other one. It's a two combo pack. And what I'm going to do now, this ravels super super fast so I'm going to get a glue dot on my take your pick tool and I'm just going to put it about right there I'm going to trim that quickly and then lay it right down on my glue dot and I'm using this because I don't have that uh, ring that was in the picture that we looked at this ring right here it's a metal ring and uh, but I do have this ribbon and I, I need to use it so I'm going to go kind of around in a circle and put that right back down on that dot and then another circle and up to that dot and I'll trim that off Maybe my scissors are not that sharp. Okay. So we'll move those around to look a little bit better after we do our trees. Which it looks like some of that pulled. Kind of weird, but that's okay. I think I'm going to put another dot just on top of that, just to, to hold it, hold it together. And let me get that ribbon out of the way. And we're ready to work on our trees. I'm trying to see what kind of paper I've got here. And we're going to start with the largest 
outline of the tree. I'm going to do that in Mossy Meadow. And when I've got a big stamp, I find it's easier to, to ink it that way. Um, get that out of the way. And let's see, I think that will work. And then for the inside of the tree, we'll use this stamp. This is double stamping. And I'm using Old Olive for that. Now I found that there really didn't seem to be a large amount of difference in using the Old Olive and the... Uh, Mossy Meadow. I probably could have stamped that off. Well, that looks pretty crooked, but we're going to use it. Okay, now we're going to use these smaller trees, and I'm just going to put them over here. That's the outline, and then with my old olive, I'll do the inside of these. Eh. Okay, I'm going to go off camera and cut those out. I'll be using this die and this one. And I'm, well, I'll come right back in just a moment. You can be looking at this stamp set and here's a tree that is from some other project that we are not using today but you can see how you might put those together and I'm cutting the trees Here we go, rolling them through. All right. Coming back. All righty. So here are the elements that we're going to use for the card. And I am going to add this piece going across the card. I'm going to bring in that punch that we used earlier, but I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to turn this. That's not exactly the right width. I'm just going to turn it on the back and try to get that even. And we will add this right under here. And I need to trim that just a little. Okay. So we are just going to glue this down. And like I said, I'm going to go kind of up and under there. And I put this because I didn't have the ribbon that was in the picture, but I thought we needed something to kind of be the base there for our trees. And I'm going to add this tree using my dimensionals. Thought I'd lost them there for a minute. I'll just put one there. And I uh, don't know if you notice this tip, but I'm using my Take Your Pick tool to help me get those uh, backings off quickly. All right. Now, I'm going to put these small trees so that they cover up that glue dot. So I want to put this tree somewhere where that would make sense. Okay. And this is going to cover up this tree just a little bit. So I'm going to put a glue dot here on this side. 
but I'm going to put glue on the rest of this because it's going to be over that other tree. And hopefully that's going to cover up the glue dot that we used for the center. And so there we are. That's, that's it. We're done. Uh, now you could do something on the inside. If I was doing the inside, I would do these small trees. Again, I put them down here in the corner. And I don't think I did a super good job of re-inking that. It looks a little bit heavy, heavier in other places. And I just inked up the wrong thing there. And the, uh, I'm going to do this, this one. There. So that would be the inside, and you could actually put the thinking of you up there again from the front, uh, if you wished. So today, uh, we talked about using some of the samples in the catalog to help us to come up with different cards or just to recreate the ones that we have. And sometimes we don't have exactly what they had because I didn't have that gold ring, but I think that this ribbon looks pretty back there. So we made today... Let's see if I can find our cards. Uh, these are the three that we made. I will be picking someone who has made comments uh, to win these three cards for next week. Our winner from last week is Sandy Herman. I'll be sending her those cards. Um, thank you so much. I've got Tina and, and uh, Faith on here now, and I sure appreciate you joining me. And uh, uh, I hope that some others will look at this later and also make comments. And I will add it up to YouTube and may have some comments from there. So thank you so much. I hope this helped you think about uh, making cards and using the catalog for your inspiration. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.